Nayo, you've been directing one of the most interesting institutions in general in uh, supplying legal service because you are the head of the Advisory Center for WTO Law and you provide advice to developing countries who engage in litigation before WTO pounds to the appellate body. How would you sum up your experience so far working for this institution? Well, it's been very enjoyable and uh, a wonderful learning experience. And I think one of the things that's interesting about it is that we assist countries not just when they come to the stage of uh, participating in dispute settlement proceedings, but also in their engagement in the WTO legal system generally. Each year we provide over 200 legal opinions to developing countries uh, that have concerns about either their own implementation of their obligations under WTO law or how to assert their rights under WTO law. And in many cases these don't go to disputes, which is not a bad thing because going to dispute settlement is not a goal in itself. Uh, but nevertheless, they need the backdrop of the WTO legal system and their ability to be able to participate in it, to be able to take full advantage of their membership of the WTO. And, and uh, if you were to quantify a little bit your, let's say, your timeshare here, what do you do? How much of it is legal advice before pounds and how much technical capacity, let's say? Well, I'd say the technical capacity is probably the majority of it. The dispute settlement activity, especially in recent years, has a little bit been up and down because, as you know, last year there was a sort of a drop-off in activity in the dispute settlement system. And this year we're seeing a resurgence of activity, so that's a little bit hard to predict. Excellent. Now, this is, if I'm not mistaken, your first participation in an academic, in an executive training seminar organized by Academy for Global Governance. When uh, you reflect, you've seen now for a couple of days how the, the whole event works. How, what, is your, what do you take from this, uh, from this event? I mean, what are the positives and the negatives that you take with you, having participated for two days now? Well, so far it's been a very enjoyable experience, uh, very uh, uh, informative discussions and uh, excellent speakers and uh, in a wonderfully conducive environment uh, to uh, We could, we could do worse, I have control. Yes. <laughs> uh, so no, I've enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to the rest of it.